What's up, everybody, and welcome to my first time ever doing a premiere draft in Magic the Gathering Arena. Of course, with Bloomboro being out, I figured no better time than now to try it. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and hit start draft, get right into it, and then go from there. That readied up really fast. Let's see how this goes. I have done quick, quick drafts in the past. But I've never actually done a live, like, with other players one before. So this should be interesting. We'll see how it goes, though. Probably going to go with this one. First thing, Mockingbird or Bad Cleric? Yeah, I'm going to go with the Essel Essence Channeler. From this. And I am using Untapped. To hopefully give me some more information on which cards are more rare and all that fun stuff so let's see it looks like we're building a white deck which i am totally all right with honestly white and blue decks have been my two favorites lately anything with blue to be honest has been a lot of fun especially as a noob to magic the gathering let's see how uh how this turns out today Based on ratings, okay, so it actually gives you the information on the left. Based on the rate cards you've already chosen, it'll also give you other cards based on those rating. Okay, cool. Yeah, I have done that but in the past, but I didn't know that it actually was based on the other cards that you've chosen too. So we've got Essence Channeler. As long as you've lost life this turn, Essence Channeler has Flying and Vigilance. Oh, can we get a blue card here? I mean, I can get Carrot Cake. Carrot Cake's pretty good. I played with that one. Yeah, let's pick up Carrot Cake. That one's in one of the starter deck. That one was a, a fun card to use. Last night, me and my wife for the first time played with the, uh, the Bloomboro starter decks we took turns going with each one i chose the otter one uh our second time playing and then she chose the one that has like a bunch of rabbits in it and then we swapped first i played with the rabbit one and then she played with the otter it was cool though all right um let's see life free duo whenever another creature you control enters you gain one life that seems pretty good Exile the target creature and an opponent controls until this leaves the battlefield. If creature had power two or less, put a counter on it. I'm going to take that one. Yeah. <laughs> Rift Gloom Coyote. I like the name of that. Intrepid Rabbit. Ooh. Grab this one too. Like a showcase one. Whenever this creature enters, target creature you control gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. Nice. I like that. And you can do offspring as well. I have a feeling this one's going to be fun. Got a good feeling on this. Vanishing Light. What's this one do again? Enters, exile, target, non-land, permanent, and opponent controls until Vanishing Light leaves the battle. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my god, that can be life-saving. Alright, so here... Uh, it wants me to grab the Tree Guard duo. Target creature you control gains, but that is pretty good. Honestly, though, I might pick up the Whirl Hermit. I think I have one of those already, though. I do. All right, fine. I'll, I'll pick up the Tree Guard. Now, I'm still going to try to do white and, uh, and blue, but we might be stuck in the... I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. White and green's not bad, either. I just... Personally... With green decks, I feel like I never do great. Oh, but it does have the rankings are white and green, so that makes sense. I don't know. Maybe we'll try it then. Moonrise Cleric. 
Yeah, I'll grab this one. Whenever a Moonrise Cleric attacks, you gain one life. I like that it's a combo of white or black. That's beautiful. That is fantastic. All right, let's see. Rum and get it. <laughs> Target creature you control gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. If the gift was promised, that creature also gains indestructible until end of turn. Yeah, that, that seems pretty good with all this right now. Looks like black and green is also pretty popular. Black and red. So on, but... Yeah, I guess green is one of the more popular ones. Because in the top four, it has green. Ooh, another intrepid rabbit? Oh, absolutely. Ooh, but there's also... Well, that's colorless. Yeah, I'll take the intrepid rabbit again. When this creature enters, target creature you control gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. Again. And you can also do an offspring of that for only one extra. I feel like that's really cheap. That's literally if you have four mana, you can make two of these. And me having two of them sounds pretty good to me. From my knowledge, that sounds pretty good. All right, just got to wait on the next one here. See what we got. Rum and get it again. I'll take that one. Again, I think that's probably my best bet. Apparently, I have three of these already. Yeah. I'll take that. Then the last one. Ooh, I think I'm going to go for this. Finch formation. Then, yeah, let's grab this guy. And auto select. Oh, we can get to that one. All right, here we go. New one. Probably go for, for the flower foot swordmaster. Go ahead and confirm that. Yeah. Whenever this creature becomes the target of a spell or ability you control for the first time each turn, mice you control get plus one until end of turn. Plus one power. Not bad. The crumb and, crumb and get it is a good one, too. I like that. And the cost is really low on it. What do we got next? Oh, boy. Got a good some more choices. Flying, double strike, and vigilance. Oh, my God. Why does that seem crazy? Ooh, there's Intrepid. Grab it again, too. I'm going to go with this one, though. We're going to diversify. Harding. Gust. Go ahead and grab that one, too, I think. It's only at two costs. Where'd it go? Harding Gust. Exile target non-token creature if the gift was promised. Return that creature to the battlefield under its owner's control. Plus one, plus one counter on it. Beginning of the next end step. Yeah, that... I like the sound of that. I like the sound of that. I actually built my first deck ever the other day. Which was, uh... Which was cool. It was a, an experience. Like, I, I used all my Assassin's Creed cards that I had and built one uh, it was a blue and black deck that was a lot of fun uh, initially I did not nearly put as many creatures as I should have but after doing some more intrepid rabbit again yeah I'm gonna have to get that oh absolutely yeah we got three of them now But initially, I did not put enough creatures. I found out recommended, from what I've seen online, that recommended creatures is about 20, 20 to 25, and then about 10 to 15 instant sorceries or enhancements. I had no idea about that. 
So that's kind of how I modeled it. I went for 25 creatures, 10 instant sorceries or enhancements or equipment. And uh, that made a huge difference. Ooh. But Strike Force is pretty good too. Do I have I I have four of these? Oh, I have four collected. Okay. Yeah, we'll go with this one. And then yeah, I think we might go for Builder's Talent here. Uh what's the I don't know what the number above it is, the 2.0. Or I could buy Huh. You know what? I'm going to get this one. Daring Wave Rider. Even if we don't end up using it, we have all those collected. Warren Elder. I'm going to get this thing. Yeah. Head of the Homestead. When it enters, create it 2 1 1 White Rabbits. Ooh. Grab that one. Okay. Wax Wayne Witness. Flying and Vigilance. I'll take that. Things are speeding up here. We gotta be quick. What's this one? I'm gonna go for the blue. I don't want me to grab the other one. I will right, we'll grab this druid then. Yeah. And then this one. Oh, I already had four collected. Shoot, I shouldn't have. Oh, well. Yeah, I kind of screwed up there. That's okay, though. Mouse Trapper. I think I'll grab this one. Whenever Mouse Trapper becomes the target of a spell or ability, roll for the first time each turn, tap target creature and opponent controls. And it's got flash. See, this is exactly why I wanted to do the pick here because I don't have any as a mostly free to play player in Magic uh, Arena. I don't have any cards. I'm not going to spend money on actual packs. Everything I earn is in game for those at least. Cosmetics depends on what it is. That's why I've got Assassin's Creed. I love Assassin's Creed, but uh, let's go for. Honestly, I might go with the duo here. Yeah. Or there's the raccoon warrior. Ooh. No, I'm going to go with duo. Going with duo. We have a lot of white cards right now, though. Creature gets plus one until end of turn. Activate only as a sorcery. Ah, uh, I don't know. Maybe I should have grabbed the other one. That's okay, though. Gotta start somewhere. My whole idea with this is bringing these into, obviously, other decks, too. Even if we don't end up winning a ton of matches or even any while we uh, play or actually build this deck at the end of it, then at least these cards I can bring for standard matches down the line. Grab that one again. Strike Force I really like. Especially if you get a bunch of plus plus on it. Like if you get a plus two plus three on this thing. A four three or like a four I don't know four five with flying double strike and vigilance. I feel like the Strike Force could straight up just I don't know. There's a lot of potential there. At least that's that's kind of where my mind's going with this. Um, it wants me to grab the long stock crawl. Yeah, we'll grab that one. Okay. Looks like by default this deck's probably gonna be white and, and green. Intrepid Rabbit again. Or. We go with this one. Creatures you control get plus. Uh, 
two plus one until end of turn if you control a rabbit's cry. Nah, I gotta go intrepid. I gotta finish out. Four intrepid rabbits. Yeah. We had to finish out with that one. Not bad, though. I'm excited to kind of build my own. But since I built my first deck in real life, now I have to actually apply that same thing in magic. But the thing is, I don't know if I have that many creatures. So in magic, that's my probably my biggest issue. God. Uh, let's go with the 3-3. Three, three. Flowerfoot Swordmaster, we'll grab that one. And then... The Grotto, sure. That's cool. I like how it shows you who has it, who is it passing to, and then who gets to choose next. I really like that. All right, let's go with... Yeah, we'll go with this Rampage one, I think. Another Raccoon Warrior. Rat Wizard. Ooh. Or this one. Yeah, we're going to go with that one. Oh, it'll auto-select one for you. So if you don't choose one in time, it'll just select one for you by itself. Uh, actually, I'm going to go with this. And I have all those Otter Wizards, so. Elena, or Alanya's Pathmaker. I have four of those already, so. Nice. Waiting for server. So is that the 40 card deck, or do we get more? Oh boy. Alright, so. Here's what we can make from this. Oh, we can actually do a, a white and blue. Nice. I chose enough. Pinch former. So I don't know what the number right here next to it is. This one is 1,000. I mean, I, I would figure higher is better, to be honest. Honestly, I'm okay with either one of these. But I do love my blue decks. What's the blue cards in here? Offspring, Bird Scout, Bird Frog, Daring Wave Rider. You know what? I think I'll try this one. I'll try this guy. We need to get rid of the, this, 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 that, that. I love how it just shows you what decks it suggests. And then how many cards to get rid of and how many to add. We need to add one of those. Boom. Now we're ready. Done. And what was the name of this deck here? Selesnia. Selesnia. All right. We'll get into a few matches with this here too. We'll just see how it goes. I'll do what I can. And I go from there. 20 minutes for drafting. Okay. I wasn't sure how long it would actually take. Let's see what we got. Time to play at least one match, two, maybe three with these cards. And I think it's three. You get three chances. Once you get three or four losses, um, then you're out and you'd have to pay again. Drafting is pretty fun, though. I like it. Ooh, I like the sound effects here. Keep those. Let's see. All right, I'll throw down a, a far or not far the planes first. That way we can throw down the flowerfoot stored master. Ooh, or if I wait, 
I get an offspring too. Uh, I might wait. Or let's wait. I'll wait for now. Draw a card. Okay. You know what? I'll throw it down now. And say threw one down. Yeah. Okay, turn. Choose a target creature you control and one you don't control. Plus a, uh, put a plus one, plus one counter on the creature you control. If the gift was promised, then th those creatures fight each other. Okay, I like that. Put this one down. Uh, yeah, I'll leave that because it's low, low mana cost. I'm going to wait until I have three or four to do this. That way I can offspring. Ooh. ooh. Oh, we're throwing this down. I didn't even see the strike force in there. All right. Yeah, let's attack the one, two. Flowerfoot Swordmaster. Yeah, if I keep waiting as well. Oh, this would only cost three. Just realized that too. The offspring. Whenever it deals damage, draw a card and discard a card unless seven or more cards are in your graveyard. I do have a Bloomboro bundle sitting right next to me too, which I still have to do the video on. I'll most likely drop it on Monday if I don't put this one out first. Magic Mondays have been kind of my go-to. All right, so I can cast this and I don't have... Oh shoot, I need another land. I need one more land to be able to do that. But I could do this in Offspring. Beautiful. That's what I like to see. All right, let's do this. Because we're flying. First strike. Oh. <laughs> and Vigilance and flying. That's so crazy. That is... Unbelievable. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know whether first strike also applied to the person themselves. Ooh, uh oh. Kidnap. I really need another. I really need another land. I could do this though next turn if we don't get one. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let it begin. We are building an army here. Go ahead and give this one plus one. And then we'll give this one plus one. Whew. Oh god. That's okay. If they kill this one, that's fine. I'll take it. I like this deck so far. Oof. Yeah, that offspring is great. And then I can just do that again next turn as well. So how long do they have that kidnap? If the gift wasn't promised, put three stun counters on it. You control an enchanted creature. So they control this one for now. 
as long as Kit. Oh my! It's literally called Kit Nap. <laughs> That's cute, man. I need another another land and I can do ooh, here we go. That's perfect. Uh what happens if you gift? So we gift a tapped fish. Choose target creature you don't control plus one. Then those creatures fight each other. So I can do like this. And then this one. Boom. <clears throat> I mean, I'll take it to be honest. And then do this again. One. Two. Yeah, they're gonna have to block most of that. Or try to. Uh, if I had my strike force back, it probably would it would be over. If I had that match would have been done there. Whenever this becomes the target of a spell or ability you control for the first time, tap target creature and opponent controls. Oh, if only I had that in the field. Ooh, four six. Oh, I'm about to take eight. Oh no. I got no choice here. Wait, how can I block this? I don't know how... Oh, it's no longer flying. Yeah, they got rid of the flying. Because of the Starforged Sword. Alright, let's throw this down. Get the food. I really wish I could do it on that one. That'll be a five or shoot. Oh. Nah, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. Because that's just going to kill mine either way. I really need my strike force back. All right, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Oh, I shouldn't have played that, man. Wasn't a good idea. This is gonna be close. Whatever creature you control enters, survey one. Surveil one. This is gonna be an interesting one. Seed Pod Squire. I need like another Intrepid Rabbit and it'd probably be GG. Potentially. But Mouse Trapper is going to be pretty good. Because then I can tap it. If I put a spell on this one, I can tap it for next turn. Choose blockers. All right, we'll just go one in. Yeah. Come on. Whenever you attack target creature you control, it gets plus one until end of turn. If that creature is a token, it also gains death touch until end of turn. Oh my god. I thought that was a sorcery i did not know it was like that all right we're gonna do one one
We're going to do one. Target creature you control. Death touch. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Yeah, that's fine. Beautiful. Wait a minute. Oh, it's very strong. Ah. Oh, oh, no. This is not going well. I really need... Come on, give me Intrepid Rabbit or something. We're like right there. We're actually right there. Oh no. Slowly wiping out my forces here. Can't do anything. take the rest I just realized too the flowerfoot swordmaster oh, so bad this is not good I can't do anything they're just gonna slowly take out me what else do we have there's a 39% chance we get a land. There's also a 2% chance we get a Shrike Force. But it's over next turn, either way. Unless if I get one of these. Ooh. Okay. I mean, I can just play this again, because that is Flash. Thanks. <laughs> Oh, it's about to be done. It's over. It's done. Oh, pain. Actual pain there. <laughs> oh, man. I was feeling so good. But the second they stole that card, that is when it was over. It By that point, it was done. Go again for another. Depending on how long this one goes, this may be the final, or if it's a short one, then we might have time for one more, but we shall see. Hey, I have that beautiful bird on me. I have two of them. All right, let's be quick here. One and one. All right, next turn, next turn. Ooh, he has reach. Uh-oh. That's not good. I'm going to wait one more turn to put that down. I will throw this down, though. Feeling some tension here. Offspring. Give that bad boy that. Beautiful. Give it again. Hit it. Go ahead. Defend it. Okay. Nice. Nice. Beautiful. Whew. <laughs> Oh, and they conceded. Oh, my God. Okay, I was not expecting that. 
Hey, that's a good turnaround from the last one to this. First win. First win there. Not bad. I right, see what happens. But yeah, that and that is exactly why I said depending on how long this goes. I think they they probably knew that they wouldn't be able to fight back on that. Not gonna lie, I really like this deck. <laughs> and that's kind of why I said like, I, I'd probably say my three favorite colors are white, uh, white, black, blue. Any combination of those cards seem to be to work out like the best for, for myself. Green, still not, not so much to be honest. For myself at least, we'll throw this down. I love this little song that plays every time. Intrepid Rabbit, I'll throw down the carrot cake. Yeah, when me and my wife played with this one for carrot cake, we did not know that you got to make the... Oh uh, yeah, I'll take the thing. We did not know that you get to do it twice. Is you create a white token and you also scry on enter and when you sacrifice it uh sure i'll go for the one all we need is that flying that strife again and whew, i think it's a lot of people have this pawn profit i noticed that that comes up a lot Um, sure. I'll do this. Offspring. Let's hit the token with it. Hit the token with it again. Nice. There will be three... Two. All right, I need one more for this. Exile target creature and opponent controls until this leaves the battlefield. That creature had power two or less. Put a counter on Drift Gloom Coyote. Huh. An elemental coyote. They they do have a lot of cards in their hand right now though, so that's what makes me a little nervous. Run away together. Choose two target creatures. All right, I'm going to sacrifice this since they don't have any cards out in the field. And I'm going to hold. I'm going to put it onto the bottom in hopes that we get another card. Where's it going to go here? Tempest Angler. Oh, so they have red, red, white. I mean, red, blue, green, and blue in that deck right now. All right, let's do this. We're going to exile the Tempest. And then choose a target creature you don't control a target. Uh, they fight each other. We'll do that. What's it? I don't know what the difference between giving them the tap fish. If the gift was promised. Oh, you put a counter if the gift was promised. The target creature I control, one they control. Hit them with everything, to be honest. Destroy target creature. Ooh, that was good. They got luck. They have black in there, too? Oh, my God. They're, like, using a multicolor. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, they're... 
Oh boy. Now this is where trouble make. Oh no, they got kidnapped. That's not. Survey one. Please don't be a land card. I can do that. I can do that. Go to combat. Three three. Go ahead, block it. Okay. We might be using Bravekin Duo a good bit. Can't believe they they kidnapped my my intrepid rabbit like that. That is such a good card though. It's it has a high mana. I mean, it's four. But that is such a good card. Oh my god. Oh no. Is it every time? It's not until end of turn too. Oh god. We're in the danger zone right now. They're gonna catch up fast. This is not good. What's our chances looking like here? There's a 12% chance that we get a strike force. All I need to do is get that once. And there it is. As long as they can't counter this card, that's the biggest problem though. No. If they get like a kidnap though, it's GG. It's, it's over. over. I'm just going to take the hit. Nine. Oh, it's over. It's done. Wait, if... Wait, cancel? Right here? Good game. Woo. Okay. <laughs> there it is. Oh, I was nervous about that one. That one was getting close. All I needed was that card though, and that's exactly what we needed. Or is exactly what we got, and we pulled through. Not bad. Not bad. All right, as a reward, let's go ahead and open up this one. What do we get? And we, oh my God, when we got kidnapped, <laughs> that's my first one. Cliff top lookout, rabbit response, mind spiral, another strike port. So what happened? I don't know what happens if you have four of those cards already, because you have the maximum amount that you can put into any deck. So maybe you just get, I don't know if you get like other rewards instead. But there it is. That's a wrap, at least on this one. If you guys ended up enjoying this though, leave a like on it. Let me know if you have any suggestions at all. Still very early in uh, Magic the Gathering myself. I've been watching a lot of uh, Pay Money Wubby play and open a, a lot of, uh, not only do Commander playthroughs, but open packs. I've also been watching Shroud open Magic the Gathering and Fallout packs though. So. I'm learning, I'm watching videos, I'm watching The Professor, I'm watching Moist Critical, I'm, I'm trying to get what I can. So for now, that's it. If you guys enjoyed this, leave a like again, subscribe for more, let me know if you have any suggestions, and I'll see you all in the next one. With the next one, we will be continuing this, so we'll see how we do. All right, peace.